Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today we will see standard 7th in that subject science. Chapter number 11, Transportations in Animals and Plants. In the previous video, part 2, we have seen up to question number 4 in a main question number 7. Today we will see question number 5. What are stomata? Give two functions of stomata. Answer is Stomata are tiny pores present on the surface of leaves of plants which are surrounded by guard cells. Functions of stomata are point 1. Removal of water in the form of vapors means transpirations through stomata and point 2. Exchange of gases occur through stomata during the process of photosynthesis and respirations in a plant. Question number 6. Does transpiration serve any useful functions in plants? Explain it. Answer is Transpiration serves the following useful functions in the plants. Point 1. The process of transpiration generates a suction pull which can pull water to great height in the tall trees. Thus, absorb water and minerals by root reach the stem and leaves. Point 2. Transpiration produce cooling effect on the plants. See the question number 7. Why is necessary to excrete waste product? Answer is certain waste products are produced in the body cells during functioning of cells. This harmful and toxic substance such as urea, uric acid, ammonia are called excretory substance. If such substance accumulate in a body, it would disturb the health. So it is necessary to excrete such waste products to maintain our health. Now we will see the question number 8 on the next page. See the question number 8. Draw a label diagram of human excretory system and label the various parts. See the diagram. This way you have to draw the diagram and you have to mention this is the two kidneys. This one is the left kidney and this one is the right kidney. Left kidney you have to sound little bit small and uh, compared to right kidney. This one is the ureter. Okay. Now this one is the urinary bladder. This one is the urethra and, and urinary. This one is the urinary opening. Now see main 8. Explain giving scientific reasons to mark each. Number 1. When a cut gets on any part of the body, the blood coming out from it stops after some time. Answer is when the body is injured and starts to bleed, the bleeding stops when a clot forms. The multi-step process of clot formation is called coagulation. When blood clot formation occurs properly, the blood holds together firmly at the site of the injury. See the question number 2. WBCs of blood are our microscopic soldiers. Point is, the point 1. The WBCs of the blood perform the functions of protecting our body against disease. Point 2. WBCs fight against the germs of various diseases which enter our body and destroy them. Third point, thereby maintains our health. Number four, thus WBCs act like soldiers. As they are microscopic in size, they are called the microscopic soldiers of our body. Now see the next page. Now see main nine, write two points of differences, two marks each. Difference between, number one, difference between red blood cells means RBC and white blood cells WBC point one in red blood cells they are of red color and here WBC they are of white color next point they possess hemoglobin and they do not have any pigment number two they are helpful in the transport of O2 and in WBCs they destroy disease causing germs and thereby 
protect the body against disease now see the dif uh, difference between or distinctives between artery and vein point 1 in artery artery carries blood from the heart to different parts of the body and in vein vein carries blood from different parts of the body to the heart point 2 its wall is a thick and elastic and here in vein its wall is relatively thin and less elastic see the point 3 uh, question number 3 distinctives between atria and ventricles now point 1 in atria they are the upper two chambers of the heart and in ventricles they are the lower two chambers of the heart point 2 in atria atria are thin walled and smaller in size than ventricles and in ventricles point 2 ventricles are thick walled and large in size than atria now see the question number 4 the distinctives between xylem and phloem point 1 in xylem are it transports water and dissolved minerals absorbed by root and point 1 in phloem it transports photosynthetic products produced in a leaves point 2 it transports in upward direction and in phloem it transport in both upward and downward direction now we will see the match the column main tan in the next video part 3 stay safe stay healthy okay bye